today's video I'll be showing you a very nice, highly affordable, and extremely sensitive radio frequency detection device. This device has the ability to detect all radio frequencies between 1 MHz and 8 GHz, which covers the great majority, if not all, wireless transmitters. If you're concerned about hidden GPS tracking devices on your vehicle, hidden wireless voice or video transmitters in your home, hotel room, or just looking to tune a transmitter like I show on my channel for maximum radio frequency output, then this detection device here is definitely for you. The G318 detector will detect GSM and CDMA, mobile phones, 2G, 3G, 4G, high-speed upload GPS locator packets, 1.2 GHz, 2.4 GHz, 5.8 GHz, wireless cameras, wireless internet, Wi-Fi, and Bluetooth. The detection sensitivity of this unit is around 0.03 milliwatts. The unit has a built-in 3.7 volt, 800 milliamp hour lithium polymer battery, and the operating current averages around 60 milliamps. Expected runtime is between 10 and 15 hours. And as you'll see in a minute when I open it up and show you, there's not only an audible indication, there's a visual. So depending on how many LEDs are illuminated, how often you hear the audible alert, that will have an effect on the battery life. So less LEDs lighting up, less audible alerts will result in longer runtime. Let's open this up, take a peek. All right, and right there, you can see what it looks like. The housing is made out of aluminum alloy, or if you're British, you may say aluminium alloy, and the device weighs around 160 grams. The dimensions are as follows, 102 millimeters in length, 52 millimeters wide, and 21 and a half millimeters thick, or four inches long by 2.1 inches wide, and 7 eighths of an inch thick. The detection range of this unit will vary depending on the power output of the transmitter that you're looking for. Pinpointing the exact location of a hidden transmitter is very easy when using the sensitivity adjust knob, as I'll demonstrate in the video in a minute. As usual, a product link has been placed in the video description area, along with a money-saving coupon code if you're interested in purchasing this product after watching the video. Okay, let's take this out of the box, take a closer look at it, and test it out. Grab it here. Put that over there. And remove the packing from the side here. It's very nicely put together. That's your charger, USB cable, as well as a manual. And of course, it's in Chinese and... English. Here is the AC adapter for charging the internal lithium polymer battery. This is the cord you're going to be using. USB to this DC jack. Plug this into here and this goes into the top of this detection device. Once it's plugged in you're going to observe the first LED on the left will light up. When charging has completed you're going to see the first LED go off. When you power on the unit, the second LED indicates that there's enough charge. If you don't see the green bar, that means it's low on voltage, and you're going to have to charge up the unit. The antenna goes right here. Screw on, very simple. Right there. Very nicely made. And it fits very comfortably in your hand. And the manual, there's no reason to go over it because I already outlined all the specifications of the unit. Let me move this to the side and power up the unit. Now the most important thing, before you even begin to use this, you have to understand that if you're going to be sweeping a vehicle or you want to sweep through a house to see if there's anything hidden, you're going to have to turn off the Wi-Fi at that location if you have wireless internet. And you're also going to have to take your cell phone put it into airplane mode, or power it off. You do not want any interference while using this device because what will end up happening, you'll pick up the phone and the wireless internet instead of picking up the transmitters. To power it on, push the button, and this is your sensitivity adjust. So you want to make it that you see maybe a couple of bars after that green one. So just rotate a little bit. 
All right, so that's pretty good. You wanted to see one or two green after that. I do have Wi-Fi on at this location, so you're going to be grabbing some of that. As you near the transmitter that's hidden, what's going to happen, you're going to see more and more bars like this. Orange means you're getting closer, and red means you're right on top of it. As you get closer and closer, that audible sound, it's going to go faster and faster. When you're right on top of the transmitter, it's going to sound like this. If you're sweeping a room and you see it starting to go into the orange area, then what you're going to do is decrease the sensitivity by bringing it back towards the green. And then you can start looking at different areas of that room. And if it starts getting too loud again, keep decreasing sensitivity. The more you decrease the sensitivity, the closer this has to get to that wireless transmitter in order for you to identify it. Now let me take a couple of transmitters that I have and show you how well this works. Now for the demonstration, I'm going to be using the two transmitters you're looking at right here. This one I purchased. It's shown in another video on my channel. And this one here I made a few years ago. If you have an interest in making FM transmitters, there are plenty shown on my channel. At the very end of this video, you'll see an end card for my FM transmitter video playlist. Now this one here is a 2.4 gigahertz wireless transmitter and you can see it has the SD card in it. You can charge it right here using a USB jack. This is the camera and it's designed to be accessed on your phone or through the internet. So if one of these are hidden inside of a room, you'll easily be able to detect that 2.4 gigahertz that's being emitted from the device. This one over here, I think at the time I made it to be tuned between 800 megahertz and 2 gigahertz. It's just a copper clad board. I etched it and I put that circuit on it. And the purpose was just to put a signal out to be able to locate. The antenna that you see here I also made from scratch. It has a very nice design. I have a video showing how that's also done. If you're interested, you're going to see that posted. Also as an end card at the end of this video. Wireless cameras like you see right here, even though they're large and very hard to conceal, sometimes people do try and conceal them outdoors and this device will easily detect all these cameras. Now before I take this transmitter and hide it outdoors to show you how I can locate it, let me just power it up. We're about two and a half feet away. Here we go. And you'll see the detection over there. Full scale and that's actually on a very low sensitivity setting. So, just to show you. Alright, let's go outdoors. You would set this to the highest sensitivity setting until you detected a signal and then you would slowly decrease sensitivity to pinpoint it. So let's move forward. It's going to go fast. Alright, so now we're getting a detection. I could decrease now, move forward here. Nothing down there. Move forward, right here. All right, keep looking. And just to make this short, right. Right over there. All right, we're gonna look for the small transmitter. Keep in mind the small transmitter can be detected up to 10 feet away if there's no other signals present in the area. There are two types of GPS tracking devices. One is passive, which means you need to place the tracking device on the vehicle, usually with a magnet, then go back later to retrieve the device to download the GPS tracking history. Those kind of devices are receivers, not transmitters, so this device here is absolutely worthless on those devices. All you can do with those kind of devices is jam the GPS signal to prevent them from tracking you. The other type of a device is an active GPS tracker. Now with that device, the received GPS tracking info is sent real time using cell phone towers to a tracking center or allow you to access the data online. And since those devices are transmitting, this device here will very easily locate them on any vehicle. In order to properly search, you're going to need to take the vehicle 
to a semi-remote area away from all cell phone towers, residential and commercial areas. Once you do that, you then stand back 50 feet from the vehicle and set this detector right here to the highest sensitivity setting. You also need to make sure that your cell phone is turned off or in airplane mode. You do not want any interference while searching the vehicle. To perform the search, you're going to walk slowly around the entire vehicle until a signal has been detected. Once you detect a signal, you're slowly going to decrease the sensitivity and by doing that, you'll be able to pinpoint the exact location of that hidden tracking device on the vehicle. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to rate it a thumbs up, subscribe, and post links to this video on other websites and blogs. Also be sure to check out my video playlist as well. Thank you very much for watching.